Okay, hello and welcome. In this video, we will have a look on how to resize the Linux partition in a dual boot scenario. In my case here, I have uh, Windows installed on that partition here. And next to it is, uh, is a Linux partition with 60 gigabytes of size. And once you have installed your Linux next to Windows, well, then the size or the partition size is relatively fixed. And in my case here, uh, 60 gigabyte is more than enough. And I want to give some of the space back to Windows to this partition. So we will decrease this partition here in size and increase this partition here. We will do that with Gparted. That's a free tool which we will put on this bootable USB drive. And then we'll boot from the stick and then we will make the changes. And we can do all that without having to reinstall any operating system and we will keep all our data. However, I recommend in any case, before you proceed, make a backup. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. We need three things. The first one is a USB drive. Um, you can use any USB drive. One gigabyte of size should be plenty enough for the GNOME Partition Manager. We can download that here from gparted.org. Org. And it's a free tool. We can download an ISO file here in the downloads section, which we we'll then put on the USB drive to have a bootable USB drive we can then use to boot from it and start the GNOME Partition Manager editor. Okay, we have two download options here. The first one is the 64-bit version, which is usually the correct one. If you have a very, very old computer, and I mean 15 years and older, then you can also download a 32-bit version here, but usually the 64 version is the right one. The next thing we need is Rufus. You can download it here from rufus.ie. Uh, that's a small tool for Windows to create bootable USB drives the easy way. So just download here the portable edition. It's just a small .exe file, executable file for Windows, and you don't have to install it. Okay, I've already downloaded both items, uh, the ISO file here and also Rufus. So let's get started. I will plug in the USB drive. However, I have to disconnect my webcam in order to do that. I have started Rufus and the first thing we need to do here is select our USB drive. I've connected the USB drive here to my computer and then it should show up here. Make sure to select the correct device here because all data on that device will be deleted. So in any case, um, make a backup. If you have any data on it you want to keep, um, just keep that in mind that all data will be lost after it. Uh, for example, if you have two devices connected here and you select the wrong one, well, then you will lose all your data. So make sure to have the right device selected here. Second thing is to select the ISO file. We will select here our gparted live ISO file. And basically that's it. You can hit the start button. There's one option here regarding the partition scheme. And if you have an older computer, select MBR here. If you have a modern computer with a UEFI BIOS, then select GPT here. So if you cannot boot from the USB drive, well then just cre recreate the USB drive with the opposite uh, partition scheme. In my case, I can safely select G the GPT and hit the start button. Um, then we will have this question here in which mode we want to drive to the USB drive. In general, I select the DD image mode here because I had problems in the past using the ISO image mode. Uh, so the DD mode seems to be a little bit more stable or safe. Hit OK. And now everything you need to do is have a little bit, we have to wait a little bit. And then our USB stick should be created. There's a warning that all data on the device will be deleted, destroyed. Hit OK and then the image is written to the USB drive and then we will have a bootable USB drive. Okay, it's done now. Now we have our bootable USB drive and then we can restart the computer, call the boot menu and boot from the USB drive. Okay, now connect the USB drive to your computer and then just st start the computer. 
And now we have to open the boot menu. Um, this is usually done by hitting some key during startup. In my case, it's the enter key. Uh, sometimes it's F10, F12 or F2. Um, and then some start menu should show up. In my case, I have to hit F12 here now to select a temporary startup device. Uh, this should open the boot menu. Uh, it, it's really different on every computer, so I suggest that you just Google it, how it's done on your specific computer type. And here's our boot menu, and here we have to select our USB HDD Samsung flash drive. That's our flash drive here. So select it, hit enter, and if this uh, grub boot menu appears, well then, everything is working. Just hit enter here and Gparted should be starting. Okay, during the boot process, we have to do some simple configuration steps. Well, we don't really have to do them. Here's the first screen, just hit enter and do not touch the key map. And after that, we can select the language. However, if you just hit enter, we will continue with English. If you want to select a different language, well, just enter the appropriate number. In our case, we will continue with English. And the last question here is whether we want to run in graphical mode or command line mode. Well, uh, I recommend selecting zero or just hit enter to select the graphical mode. And in a few seconds, then, the partition manager should be started, uh, starting. Uh, here we go. Uh, Gparted is starting or it has started. And here we can continue resizing our partitions. Um, Gparted is now open. And as you can see, uh, this looks similar to the screen we had at the beginning of the video. Here's our Windows partition. And here on the right hand side is our Linux partition. And the yellow indicator here shows us how much data is on the disk, how much, how much uh, of the available space is used. So this is important because, well, we can only decrease the size um, if there's enough free space available. In our case here, we can, well, we can shrink the Linux partition here for uh, a lot of gigabytes. So let's do that. Uh, right click on the partition. We will start here with the Linux partition, select resize and move. And then we can resize the partition here from the left side. And you can move it around here uh, to the size you want to decrease the Linux partition. Hit resize and move. Then there will be a warning that uh, there might be, if you move a system partition, well, then the operating system might fail to boot. Uh, however, this was never the case uh, in my tests or when I did that. However, uh, I recommend before you do that, have a backup of your system just in case. So that's this warning is about. Okay. Now we have unallocated space here, 32 gigabytes. We will assign this free space here now to the Windows partition. So click on the Windows partition, right click, resize and move. And now we can move or resize the Windows partition to the right side here, that it will use all the available space here. Resize. And here we go. Now our Windows partition has 100 gigabytes and the Linux partition has been shrinked. Um, usually you will see the small gray bar here. That's uh, a little bit of disk space, which is not assignable. And don't worry about it. It's very, very small. It's just one megabytes. So it's really nothing to worry about. You don't wasting any uh, real amount of <laughs> disk space here. Okay. So far, nothing has been written to the disk. If you make an error here or you have changed your mind, you can just exit, reboot, reboot your computer or start over again here. So nothing is written to the disk yet. This is done by clicking here on edit and apply all operations. Once we do that, then all our changes will be applied to the disk. So make sure that you have configured all that you wanted to configure with the correct partition sizes, then select apply all operations. So there's another warning that there's a potential loss of data backup. Okay, click apply. 
And then the operation takes place. Our Linux partition will be decreased in size. The Windows partition will be increased in size and the data here, which is in our Linux partition will be moved to a different location on the disk. So this might take a while. Uh, it really depends how much data you have in your Linux partition and how much data must be moved to a different position on your drive. And also it depends on the speed of your disk drive. So we will have to wait a little bit and then we will continue. The process is now finished. We can hit the close button, hit the exit button, and then we can boot our operating systems. We will do that now. Okay, so far so good. The grab bootloader appears. That's the first good sign. And now we start Linux and then we will run Windows as well. Okay, Linux is running. So far so good. Let's check out Windows. And Windows is starting as well. I already opened the disk management tool. And as you can see now, our system partition of Windows has the new size. So we successfully shrinked the Linux partition here and added the available space to our Windows partition. And we kept all our data. However, I still recommend to do a backup for uh, before any of these operations. Okay, well, that's it. There's also a link in the video description with a blog post where I describe everything in detail as well. And that's it and goodbye.